This explosion, called a solar flare, was detected on the sun Thursday. It unleashed a wave of energy known as a coronal mass ejection, or CME. So that's a billion tons of plasma gas lifting off of the sun associated with this flare. Forecasters with the Space Weather Prediction Center in Boulder say it's expected to hit the Earth's magnetic field on Saturday, causing a geomagnetic storm. Like hurricanes, these storms are rated on a scale of 1 to 5. 1 being minor and the five being extreme. Three is a strong storm, so it's right in the middle, and that's what we're expecting tomorrow. Bill Murtaugh says a level three geomagnetic storm can disrupt the electrical grid in Canada, but usually has little impact on the United States other than some interruption to GPS satellites. He says it will likely bring the aurora borealis down as far south as Casper, Wyoming. If the surge of energy is slightly stronger than expected, we may even see a green glow on the northern horizon here in Colorado Saturday night. I wouldn't just rule it out. But typically, we would say it's not likely with G3, but don't hold me to it. Murtaugh says we typically need a G4 or G5 solar storm to see the northern lights in Colorado. And he says those chances will become more frequent over the next five to seven years because the sun is just entering an active phase that's kind of like a solar storm season. We'll see bigger events than what occurred yesterday. That I assure you. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.